Hello, uh, welcome back to my garage again. Now today, uh, the video that we're doing is about a T5 engine, 2.5 AXD. And what I'm working with is I am putting a new piston in the barrel. Now the AXDs, unlike most other engines so axd axe so the five cylinder gear driven engine is an alley block and it has it's got a nickel coating on the barrels now the problem with obviously this type of system is that um you can't really you cannot rebore them and if there's anything wrong with the nickel coating in the barrels the barrel's done the only other option is to re-sleeve the block, which costs astronomical price. I think the last quote I got for a cylinder reline was about a thousand pound. That was to have all new cylinders in, but they were <coughs> they weren't coated. They were a steel cylinder, meaning you could rebore them, you could hone them, and you could work with them, which is obviously a lot better. And you could have them bored out to any size to some degree i had a look through youtube and there's not a lot about this there's lots of what not and what to do on the internet so i'm going to show you what i do and simple as so theoretically i'm going to reset the camera first and then we're going to have a little chat so here we go right so here we go this is the axd engine i'm working with here um, AXEs, AXDs, BNZs for the T5s. I think there's a BR, what is it? A BR, BC or something. The engines, they're out of a Toran, I think. Toran? Toran. But anyway, AXDs, BNZs, blah, blah, blah. Um, the five cylinder, alley blocked, gear driven engines, pretty much all base the same there are a few generations different actual mixes so like the earlier axds and axes had a different turbo mount <coughs> so if i turn this stand her up right so axds and axes they have this little plinth that comes off the back of the block that the turbo sits to that's an AXD and an AXE. The BNZs, so the later models, um, they don't have this. They just have a couple little holes and the turbo bolts to the back of the block, straight under the back of the block, simple as. And the BNZs run cast manifolds as well with a slideable bracket that comes down and meets the actual turbocharger. The AXDs and AXEs run a steel manifold with a flexi joint um, which are renowned for cracking and breaking but you can get cast manifold replacements and um, they sell them at dark side so go for that but anyway back to what we're doing cylinder now basically what i've done today is i've taken the cylinder out cleaned it out i've made sure that there's no pitting or chips out of the nickel coating so I've looked down the bore, made sure the bore's fine. So I'll show you that quickly. So what I do, quickly turn this like this. I'll show you this quickly what I do is I will get my torch, which is over there. So I'll show you my good cylinder. So here we go. So here's my cylinder. No chipping or damage at all, or start nasty scratches. So nasty scores will also spell game over as well. A real nasty score. So a real nasty, a real nasty score down the barrel will also end your game. <clears throat> Once we're done with that, we need to prep the cylinder. So some people say that just drop the piston straight in. Um, don't do nothing to it. Just clean it, oil it, drop the piston in. But the problem with that is your rings won't take to your barrel properly. You can do it, but you won't get as good as compression. The best thing to do is you need to glaze break the barrel. So you need to knock the glaze off. Now, that doesn't mean you have to hone it to oblivion. You've just got to literally 
take the shine off, simple as. Um, now, I use a honing tool, so a normal honing tool, so like this, so like this, but the stones can chip the nickel seal, the nickel lining, the stones, but the stones can chip the nickel coating in the bowl. So what I do is I get a bit of wet and dry, like that, a bit of 800 or a bit of six, I cut, I cut it so it's the same length as the tool, as you see. I fold the little end up, like that, and I roll it round, and you post it in the cylinder, okay. and you put your tool in, you squish your tool, post it in to the actual, into the paper, like so. And then what you do is you rotate this round and it captures that edge that you've folded up and then you just rotate. Now what you normally do, you'd put it on a drill and you just hum up and down the bowl, make sure you lubricate it with some WD, keep it nice and flowing so it doesn't grab and snatch. I've already done that. So then what I tend to do afterwards is just, I just, just to rotate the paper in like so, because you don't want your score line to go straight round. You don't want to go on them straight up and down either. You want them to spin into the chamber so it drives the rings round and cuts the rings nicely um, and gives you the best actual retake of your piston rings. When you do that, you don't have to do a lot. You're literally, all you are doing, a couple of minutes, just to quickly take that coat just to quickly knock the glaze off some people and i have done it myself if your barrel's big enough you can actually cut you can actually do it by hand and the less you do the better you are because you've got to understand that little coating it's it is hard it's very hard but it also isn't very thick so the more you take off you're reducing your lifespan of your cylinder. So anyway, once you're done, simple as, you're honed out, and that's how you prep the cylinder. And then obviously you check your rings in there, do whatever you've got to do. Obviously look out for nasty steps and things like that, chipping, pitting, scratching, little tiny feather line scratches, not too bad. You just don't want a dirty score down the barrel, otherwise your nickel seal is pretty gone. There's a lot of things saying that there are repair kits for nickel barrels, but never used them, never seen them, and I don't really believe in it. Because the problem with the nickel liner is, is the nickel coating is so hard, the minute it flakes and it goes into the barrel, it just destroys it. It will eat itself. So if you have got a little bit of a chip or a little nick lifted out of the nickel, just it's gone. Don't even try because all that will do is slowly break up bit by bit and then it will get caught in the actual cylinder as it's going up and down and it will just peel itself and murder it. So yeah, simple as. So that's how we do it anyway. That's that barrel clean. Next step would be to get my piston, oil it up, drop it in. I'm going to do a little thing on that as well. So what I do. So, but for that, that's me prepping a nickel coated cylinder in the five cylinder AX, this is an AXD, but it'd be AXE as well, BNZ, and other engine codes, which are the 2.5 alley block gear driven engines of a Volkswagen. But um, yeah, please like and subscribe and if uh, and share my videos around.